Where's the request for? My husband, Kevin. Oh, what would you like to say to him, love? We're just sort of telling him that I love him and I can't wait for the day when he comes home. Ah, oh, how long is he going to be away? About two years. Terrific. So, if you're listening, Kevin, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a nice day and this record's just for you. No, I can't forget this evening. Excuse me, please. Can I catch a lift? Yeah. Oh, well, no, we uh, should be not in Beal, I've just been posted here. Joe! A brother officer. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, Save me the cab fare. Ah, oh, well, I'd, uh, I'd still claim for it, though. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, What's Lado in for? Oh, it's, uh, it's better not to ask, you know. In my experience, if you know what a man's done, it may prejudice you against him. Best to start clean. Benefit of the doubt. Find out what he is, not what he was. What are you in for, son? Two years. I didn't mean time, I meant offence. None taken. We know his salt, don't we? See if he's still smiling at the end of next week. It's a bit bleak up here this time of the year, but... In the summer, there are some lovely views. Where's the nearest town? Well, there isn't one. Hey. There's something to say. You're as much prisoners as we are. Well, I can't forget this evening Your faces you were leaving But I guess that's just the way the story goes you always smile, but in your eyes, your sorrow shows. Yes, it shows. One bunch of keys, one diary, tartan cover, one roll of sanity, one return portion ticket, Covent Garden to Onga. That's one journey you won't be making for a while. Ring. That's my wedding ring. Married at your age? Dull. Ah, nice one, Harry. Today's weather, well, maximum high of minus two degrees, sleet and hail, but we're not going to let it bring us down, are we? In the deserts. What's your name, Raj? Mr. Mackay. Mr. Mackay. There are only two rules in this prison, Raj. You listening to me? One, you do not write on the walls. Two, you obey all the rules. All right? Carry on. Do you see yon screw with his look so vain? With his brand new keys on his brand new chain? With a face like a ferret and a pea for a brain? 
and his hand on his whistle in the morning. That you, Fletcher? That me what, sir? Satirical singing. What, John Peel, sir? That's traditional, that is. Second only to my all-time favourite, Scotland the Brave. Come where the hands are clapping, come where the toes are tapping, come where the jocks are strapping down. Fletcher! In. Sir? If you want to sing, I suggest you form a slate prison glee club. Glee? Got any snap? What if I had? Oh, if you have, all right. If you hadn't, I was going to offer you some. I've got me own. Fair enough. Lenny got that. Tarpaulin factory. Oh, come on, read it for me. All right, all right. I'll just give you the highlights, right? Dearest Bunny, blah, 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 We haven't got a canary. As you can see, Mr. Bill, these men are gently employed in the manufacture of prison uniforms. I'm going to open my own boutique when I get out. That'll do, Armstrong. In the other workshop, men are making metal dustbins. Prisoners are also employed in our electrical shop, medicine shop, laundry, and the prison shop. Are you wearing makeup again, Whitaker? It's only a touchy rouge, Mr. Mackay. Get it off! Anyone got any cleansing cream? Get a lot of that, sir. Insubordination? Hoovering. Inevitable, Mr. Beale. We find it best to put them all together in G-Wing, or as we term it, married quarters. <laughs> oh, I don't understand it myself, sir. I never did. Don't let that show, him, Mr. Beale. My attitude is, whatever he is, each man in here is as despicable as the next one. Well, that's very fair-minded of you, sir. I like to think so. Oh, afternoon, Mr. Berkler. Busy, Fletcher? Oh, yes, yes. Busy than ever, sir. Still, I never complain. I can't actually see what it is you're supposed to be doing. Oh, no, it's the pigs, sir. They won't eat without my reassuring presence. Very highly strung, your average pig, you know. Who's he? Oh, Rudge. Newly assigned to the farm. How do you work that, then? Pardon? Well, first day inside, the farm. What is he, the governor's nephew? Yeah. First offender. Admin thought it best. Uh, well, God knows we need all the help we can get, as you can see. Here, I'll let. What? Shovel it. Shovel what? Shovel that. Shovel it where? From here to there. Why? Why? Ah, oh, why? If only we knew that, Sonny, but we don't, do we? Ours not to reason why. Ours but to clean the sty. Wordsworth. Yeah, well, you'd uh, better do as Fletcher says. This job is a privilege, you know, Fletcher. For the pigs, yeah. Look, I want you to set the lad an example. Obviously, he's, you know, he's been foolish to finish up inside here, but I want you to show him that with a bit of rough, he can make a success of his life. Success? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you about success. I had a pal, came to London 28 years ago, right, without two eight to rub together. Now, he managed to scrape up enough money to get himself a little hand cart, and he went round collecting all old newspapers. Do you know what he's worth today? No, what? Nothing. And he still owes for the handcart. The farm. Good afternoon, Mr. McKay. Oh, Mr. Bellaclop. The farm produces a modicum of what the prison eats. We've got little livestock, as you see, some pigs, poultry, a few allotments for the older legs. 
Oh, yes. No guided tour of Slate Prison would be complete without meeting Fletcher, Norman Stanley. Afternoon, Mr. Mackay. Mr. Beale. How do you know my name? Oh, it gets around, sir. It doesn't take long. I expect you're already a legend on some bog walls. Typical recidivist, this one. Been doing porridge most of his life. Never, I repeat, never give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, come on, Mr. Mackay, you know me. Bide me time, keep me nose clean. I'm no bother, am I? Long to do? Long enough. What you in for? Got caught. Got the picture? Pieces? Fruit pie. Yes, I realised that. I merely wondered what sort of fruit. I don't know. This comes out of a tin marked fruit pie filling. So we have no clue to its origins. No, it's not oranges. It's more like uh, plum or a damson. What's the old up, Fletch? No, oh, it's the defrock dentist having to go at the cuisine again. Move it on, Benyard. This food has not one ounce of nutritional value. Come on, Egon Rona, shift yourself. What's the matter with you people, Fletcher? None of you exercise your right to complain. Listen, if you don't move on, my son, I'm going to exercise my right forearm down your throat. That'll do. Put your complaint in writing, can you? Well, you're doing it good. No. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Here. It's the laddo's first day in here. Do him a favour, will you? Give him a small board. You're not doing yourself any favours, are you, Banyard, eh? All you're doing is getting up other people's noses, ain't you? We have certain rights. No, we don't. We're in the nick. I suppose you think you're entitled to something better just because you went to a public school, is that it? On the contrary, Ives, I'm well used to this kind of food. I went to Harrow. <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? That's a good advert for the public school system, isn't it, eh? Prepares you for the nick. Of course, it's worse for him, isn't it? And for most of us, isn't it? Because he has had further to drop, isn't he? Professional man, you see. Dentist. Tragic. What do you mean, Fletcher? Tragic. I mean, it's no laughing matter for that woman he had under the laughing gas, was it? There's no need for that, Ives. We don't have to keep unearthing each other's past. I'm paying for my peccadilloes. Oh, oh that's good. Well, if you're paying, I'll have a large one. <laughs> What's a peccadillo? It's a South African bird. Flies backwards to stop getting the sand in its eyes. No, no. I know what you mean, though. It's an animal called the uh, armadillo. Armadillo. No, no, no. That was King Arthur's copies. <laughs> I think that's what I'm eating, isn't it? Don't worry, it may never happen. Already oh, has. I'm here, ain't I? Now, look. Whatever you were in here for, you did it, didn't you? Thank the rights. Yeah. Yeah. Just like me. If we had been caught, we'd have been Jack the Lab, wouldn't we? But we was. We was collared, and that's that. So don't bleat. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. I ain't bleating. Good. Prison is like life, you know. You need something to believe in in here. Something to hang on to so you don't go under. You can't buck the system. It's mad to try. But you can lift the heart with an occasional little victory. Well, nice talking to you, Rudge. Oh, one more thing. Don't hang about in here too long. Ambush Alley, they call this. Not a safe place in the nick. You get them all in here, transvestites, homosexuals, drug addicts, the lot. I tell you, when someone walks in here, just sits down and gets on with it, it's like a breath of fresh air. Most areas of the home counties were again affected by a major power cut. Talks between the government and the union were broken off following their rejection of a 14% pay increase. The weather, freezing fog and black ice... Shoes all right, Mr. Grout? OK. On your way, Jack, huh? I don't like the look of that new one. What's your name, Beale? Yeah. And put my king back, Fletch. What are you incinerating, Edley? It's there, and it was there. How was it? 
Oh, maybe I chuck a table. I don't know. Maybe the wind blew it there. That's what I call draft, you know. The wind blows them apart, isn't that it? Mm. Go on, put it back then. Put it where you like. If winning is all that important to you. I'll have it where it was, thank you. I don't mind losing so long as it's all fair and square. <laughs> Show me a man who laughs at defeat, and I will show you a black coropolis with a sense of humour. I'm afraid you're late, because it's 7.24. Almost lock up, Mr. Beale. Then I'll buy you a jar. I wouldn't say no to that, sir. The prison officers have formed a club. It's known as the Prison Officers Club. It was formerly the Coke store before we converted to gas. A little basic, perhaps, but it's remarkable what you can do with a pot of paint, a few horse prices, and a little imagination. Oh, look forward to it, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Mackay. What are you up to, Ives? Uh, now, here, yeah, listen, Mr. Mackay. You're McCoy. always up to something, aren't you, Ives? This is Ives, Mr. Beale. Horrible Ives, aren't you? Well, if you say so, sir. Don't be cheeky, Ives. Oh, dear. What a shame. Just when you was poised for victory. Don't worry. I'll we'll continue this tomorrow. Ah, well, I don't know what I'm free tomorrow, do I? I shall have to consult my social diary. Oh, well, that's all I have time for. There's the ironing to be done before Starsky and Hutch. Needless to say, I love you and miss your loving... arms, I think it is. Yeah, would be arms, yeah. Mm, then there's lots of hugs and kisses. Nice letter. So, there's nothing in here about a welder or a canary? No, I would have noticed. Hey, what? There weren't no welder or a canary. And I never thought there were, neither. What's he on about? Search me. <laughs> Stir crazy, perhaps. <laughs> hey, how did that kid Rudge manage to wangle the farm? I don't know. Charm, I shouldn't wonder. Mm. Been sitting in his cell since Chow, just staring at the wall. Ah, well, he's just had his first experience of your cottage pie, hasn't he? Best not to move about too much after that, isn't it? He's only a kid. Oh, dear, listen to her. No, I just remember the first night I've come in here. How I felt when that door banged shut. Hey, why don't you go and have a word with him? Why? Well, you're good at that sort of thing. You perked me up when I first come inside. Listen, I broke you in, Godba, because you was forced upon my cell. And it was in my interest not to have a manic depressive in the bottom bunk, wasn't it, eh? Suit yourself. I will, I will. Oh, dear. Here, you owe me some dining wool. Already gave you some. That was in exchange for the orange. Tangerine. Besides, that was to pay me for the stamp. What stamp? For your pools. I paid you for the stamp with a squirt me toothpaste. No, that was for the dining wool. Well, look, I'm not going to sit here arguing a toss with you all night. Have you got any or haven't you? Yeah. Well, are you going to give me some orange? Yeah. Well, just like that. Three gratis of an oven? Yeah. Cobblers. Henry? Oh, no, I, I, I better not. I, I must be off in a minute. Nonsense, man. He'll have the same again. And Mr. Beale and I will have a pint of your finest. I'll have a dram as well on the side. Show them medicinal. Ah. Quite snug in here, don't you think? Very nice. Any suggestions, you know, put them to the committee, of which I happen to be the chairman. Ah, I will, yes. No, the good thing about a club like this is it gives the men a chance to unwind at the end of the day, have a few laughs. Isn't that right, Henry? Oh, yes, it's invaluable in that respect. Ah, welcome sight. First today. Thank you. Here's to you, Mr. Beale. Uh, here's to you, Mr. Mackay. I, uh, I found what you had to say very instructive, sir. Well, one does one's best. Very helpful, you know. Oh, very helpful. Cheers. Bottoms up. Oh, I... Down the hatch. No, 
You haven't entered the glamour of profession, Mr. Beale. We're underpaid, understaffed, and overlooked. Even though every time we walk these landings, we put our lives on the line. Well, uh, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. And the public never hears of us, of course, except adversely. When some namby-pamby politician picks up the case of a psychopath who claims that we've been less than gentle with. What do they know, sir? See, that's why. That's why you'll find that we're a pretty tight bunch here. Unified, if you like. Unified in the face of criminal hostility and public indifference. That's why this place is so important to us all. Mm. Where the hell is everybody? Awake, Fletch? No. Is that Burke Atkinson? Mm. Keeps getting these terrible nightmares. Oh, no, yeah. He's told the shrink about it, but all he's given him is aspirin. You have to feel compassion, don't you? Yeah. Human soul in such torment. Well done, Atkinson, you noisy scrope! And sleeping better, are we? I slept like a top till some stupid prank started shouting. What's the rush, son? You should watch where you're going. You, son, should watch where you're standing. What's your name? What's it to you? Ooh. There's no problem here, Mr. Lassiter. Thanks, Rudge. Rudge. My name's Harry Crowell. Don't think we've had the pleasure. These are my friends Samson and Delilah. Samson got his nickname because of the muscles. And she got hers because of her striking resemblance to Hedy Lamar. Hey, Bratty, listen to this. Listen to what? You know Robbie Patton, who works in the laundry? Well, his wife, you see, she wanted a divorce, you see. So she goes to the solicitor and he says, well, you've got to have grounds, you see. So she says, what's grounds? So he tells her, he says, first of all, there's insanity. Well, I mean, Robbie's a bit of a dipstick, like, but, uh, but he's not certifiable, is he? Secondly, there's uh, desertion. Well, I mean, he's in here. He can't go nowhere, can he? Thirdly, there is uh, cruelty. Well, as you know, he wouldn't hurt a fly. So that leaves adultery. Oh, what's adultery, she says. So he tells her, he says, ah, I think we've got him now. He is not the father of my child. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you liked that. Yeah. yeah, can I have ladder here? We must be late to work, all right? Yeah? Come on, lad. Not the father of my child. That's making me funny. I don't get it. Was that fellow on the landing? Who, oh, him, Harry Grout. He runs this, Nick. I thought that was the governor's job. No, only officially, Sonny. Next time you meet him, bow, curtsy, or lick his boots, if that's what he wants, all right? Thanks. How are you? Are you ready to do the sluice? The Lister Man sluice. Are you sluicing? Come on, Over to you. Do the sluice. Yeah. <coughs> uh, shouldn't you be at your place of work by now? Well, normally I would be, Mr. Barraclough. Well, I'm going to see the M.O. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing serious, I hope. Never been better.
you want to go next to Mr. Krebs? Uh, I mean, I'm in no rush. I'm afraid you'll all have to clear off. I need this room for a meeting. On your way, lads. Look, I don't know what this is about, but I require urgent treatment. My boy needs lancing. If you don't hop it, I'll have one of my lads do it. We haven't met. I'm out of ground. Everybody knows that. Bill Oaks. I know you form Oaksy. You're no second rater. He was moved here from Wakefield. Where you obviously kept your nose clean. Halfway through a 12 stretch for armed robbery, innit? That's right. Big tickle, that last job of yours. I hope the money's safely tucked away. Someone's been investing it for me. Oh, save us prefabs then. That's why I want out. I wish to unfreeze my assets and take off to the sun. I can see how you would. Obviously, there'll be the appropriate recompense to your good self. Yeah. I like the word recompense. I was thinking in the region... No. Let me tell you my thinking. Five thousand. Three before, two after. It's only fair the lion's share should come up front. Once people take off to the sun, they're often careless about tidying up their affairs. Where do you want it put? Hastings and Thanet Building Society, Bexhill Branch. How long will you need? You'll have to give me up to three months. Supposing you don't spring me? And you get your money back, Axie. Mind you, I keep the interest. Nine and a quarter percent at the moment. Tax pay. Next. Oh, where have they all gone? They all got better, Doc. You look a bit down in the mouth, Mr. Bowcroft. Anything the matter? Oh, nothing new. Same old story. Domestic crisis, you know. Oh, dear. Mrs. Bearclough left you, I see. Unhappily, no, Fletcher. Wait. Morning. Gee, wheels a wheel, but I. Through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles. Oh, <laughs> he loves that, you know, he loves all that. Yeah, my soul's alive, alive, oh. I thought I told you to wait in the car. She wheels a wheelbarrow, two wheels turn an arrow. Anyway. Watch out for him. He's the mad butcher of slave prison. What did he do? Fiddle the VAT on his sausages. Where are you going with that? Pigswill. What? Swill for the pig, sir. Pigswill. It's Fletcher, isn't it? Yes, sir. Settling all right, I? Never mind if I am, but if I'm not. I wouldn't leave that bicycle there if I was you, sir. When I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Oh, suit yourself, sir. But there are one or two thieves in here. Know what I mean? Whose side do you want anyway? Ours or theirs? Neither. Mine. something love to be. With this soup, Elizabeth David recommends coriander, bay leaves and a dash of pepper. I said a dash, lot of bee.
Stop making all this fast. Show me what it is. No, oh, it's really fast. fast. Oh. 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 What's going on? Oh, shame. Yeah. Uh, this man's had an accident, Mr. Mackay. Let's see, Cooper. What happened? Carry on the rest of you. Well, well, I thought I cut the top of my finger off, but it seems to be still there. So. And your bicycle, Mr. Beale? Yes. yes, sir. I took the precaution of bringing it indoors, sir. Into this thieves' kitchen? Ask yourself a question, Mr. Beale. Was that wise? <laughs> what would they want with it, sir? The Lord alone knows. Rob, now think later. That's their motto. What's on the menu today, Godbot? Uh, Creme du Barry, sir, followed by curry. Curried what? Uh, meat, sir. What meat? I don't know, it doesn't say. It just says tinned meat, sir, on the tin line. Ladle. Well, he sees himself as an authority on curry, he does. I can't where he was stationed in the army. India? No, Bradford. Oh, very fair, God, boy. Very fair. Perhaps, sir, uh, perhaps just a dash more curry powder? Oh, right, sir. Uh, lots of bee, um, curry powder. why Mackay hasn't come down on us like a ton of bricks. I'll tell you why. Because he lost something today in the kitchen, that's why. What pride do you mean? Ah, something else. Shift your backside. Why? It's hidden in your mattress. Oh, well, I see. So if we get a search, I'm the one who gets to blame. Oh, yes, you would, yes. Oh, yes. You think of everything you do. I try. Have a look outside. See what it was about. OK. Shut your eyes. All right, open up. Uh, teeth. Yeah, jaws free. Look. <laughs> Look, get off. <laughs> How'd you come by them? Mackay sneezed them into the curry. I'm not sleeping on them. They won't bite you. There's only half a set there. No, no, no. I mean, they're red hot. He'll turn the nick over looking for them. He'll negotiate first, won't he? Bit risky. Well, you know what they say, don't you? Nothing dentured, nothing gained. Now, here, listen, Fletcher. Eyes, will you not before you come in here? Who is it? Eyes. Clear off. Now, here, listen, Fletcher. Grouty wants to see you. Now, before we get to your last record, how well do you think you could look after yourself on this island? Are you pretty good with your hands? Yes, I, I think I'm barely a practical sort of person. You know, I, I, I do my share around the house and everything. No, go on. How's the dark going, all right? It's a lovely piece. And this is the recording that you've just done. Desert Island Discs. Oh, yeah. Always been an ambition of mine to be on that program. Yeah. Nice fridge, Grouty. Yeah, feel that. 100% cashmere. Oh, lovely, isn't it? He's doing me one in Barathea for when the weather gets warmer. If it ever does. Huh. Yeah. On your way, Tink. <laughs> now then. Yeah, <clears throat> Grouty, if it's about the, uh, if it's about the teeth. What? Well, I realise, of course, that you are entitled to first refusal. Are you referring to Mackay's missing mothers? 
Do what I presume, that's what I was sent for. I mean, nothing escapes you, does it, Grady? Ah, oh, no, Fletch. If you've got them, that's your tickle. Oh, good. I oh, know. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Oh, dear. I had this notion. A football match. Showbiz celebrities. Come up here, give the lads a boost, good for morale. Oh, yeah, yeah, lovely, yeah, lovely, Grant, yeah. I know a bloke in the smoker could organise it. First thing's to get the governor's blessing. Oh, I'm sure the governor do anything for you, Grantie. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> you suggest it, Fletch. Why me? Because you're a man to be trusted and I know you'd do it subtle. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, of course, if anything went wrong, it would all come back on me. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that myself. <laughs> Do as you say, Mr. Mackay, but I'm, I'm not happy that we should kowtow to these people. I mean, if we do this kind of thing, isn't there a danger of a loss of face? Not nothing compared to my loss of teeth. And the outlook for the weekend is Mr. Change. Well, that's the word of folks. And if you're thinking of going out today, my advice to you is don't. What's that? Spitfire. Saved our skins in the war they did, them and the Oricans. That's what I'd like to have been, fighter pilot. Up over the white cliffs of Dover. Quick dogfight with the Luftwaffe. And then back to the mess for bacon and eggs in a sing song. <coughs> Could I have a word, Fletcher? I'm busy, Mr. Barakoff. Do you mind? Oh, well, if you insist, son. Have to call it a draw, Edling, all right? In private, if you don't mind. Mm. Delicate matter. Oh, step in the office. I'm here at the request of Mr. M uh, one of my senior colleagues. Well, I think you know that... I know that you know what I know. How do I? It's what the grapevine says. You can put your hand on what he hasn't got. Well, if he hasn't got it, I don't see how I can put my hand on it, sir. And if he has, I'm not sure I want to. You know what I mean? Don't be obtuse, Fletcher. We both know what we're on about. And, and I want you to know that I heartily disapprove of this. Oh, so do I, sir. So do I. But we are just the go-betweens, haven't we, eh? We are merely here to maintain the status quo. And if we don't come to some little arrangement, they go in the auction Sunday. Ah, arrangement, yes. Yes, which my function is to ensure that the item in question is restored to its rightful place. To wit, his mouth. I think we see eye to eye. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what they say, sir. An eye for an eye and a two for a mouth. <laughs> Clear off. <laughs> I've been authorised to go up to a fiver. Then the quicker you go up to it, the better, sir. Oh, well, handy at all, Fletch. I mean, I would like to make some token gesture towards bargaining. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Go on, you go ahead. Bargain away, sir. Three fifty? A fine bar. Done. You certainly have been. No, it was a fifty-fifty ball, and he bottled out. I'll have him for that. I do Afternoon, Mr. Beale. Afternoon, Fletcher. Football fan, are you? Yes, love the game, sir, yeah. So good for the lads and all. Teach them things in life, don't it, eh? You know, give and take, fair play, make the best man win. Put the boot in, he wing! I used to play a bit. In goal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can just see you as custodian, sir. <laughs> Not much to get past you, eh, Mr. Beale? Come on, somebody! Yeah. I was fairly useful. Essex Methodist League. Runners up, 69. Oh, my word. Yeah. Of course, what the lads really need is a bit more motivation, isn't it, really? Hmm? It's a pity someone in authority don't get one of them showbiz teams to come up here, you know. Work wonders for morale, that would. Show business? Yeah. 
Matter of fact, I know a bloke in the smoke who runs that sort of thing. Really? Yeah. Well, it'd be nice talking to you, Mr. Bill. Yes, yeah, on your way, Fletcher. Another lager in line. Oh, no, my round, sir. Oh, boy. Thirsty work, eh? Top that one, haven't we? Keeps me in trim, though. Oh, yes, I can see uh, that, sir. Oh. <laughs> a lot of uh, talent from the men, but they, uh, they lack motivation. Well, you can hardly join the league, Mr. Beale. Can't play away matches. <laughs> I, uh, I know a chap in London who organises charity matches, uh, show business, that sort of thing. Might be willing to bring a team up here. Show business? I work wonders for morale, sir. Morale, eh? Morale. Morale, Mr. Mackay? Could work wonders for it, sir. A team from the outside, a sprinkling of celebrities. Put Slade on the map, sir. Local press, that kind of thing. This idea hasn't come from the prisoners, has it? Oh, no, 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 sir. Off the top of my head, just a... Yes, well, I'll give it some thought. Very good, sir. It's on. I heard. Well done, Fletch. Any time, Grouty. Now we need someone reliable as trainer. Oh, well, don't look at me. I've grown disenchanted with the game. Twenty years of support in Orient does that for a man. I insist. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, it is my privilege. Come on out to your flagging! I heard Rob Stewart was coming. Is it likely he's a tax exile? Who gives the monkeys we're getting double rations? Come on, Oxy, shift yourself! Well done. Now listen, don't forget, early night tonight, all of you. I don't want any of you creeping off down the pub, all right? Oh, hello, Mr. Mackay. Didn't see you, Leslie. You're a strange choice for trainer, aren't you, Fletcher? Uh, what well, was the lads what decreed it? So they uh, they took a vote. You know what I mean? I heard, yes. Yet you're a man who's always despised physical activity. Oh, not in others. Well, we've got plenty of strength at the back. One thing we're not short of is stoppers. What we need now is a bit of creative midfield flair. From what I saw of him, Rudge could provide that. Revelation, he was. Yeah. He reckons he had a trial for Brentford before he had a trial for shoplifted. I can believe it. Have you, uh, have you chose the final team, Mike? Not yet, no. A bit Kit Kat. Hmm? Oh, darn, yeah. <clears throat> you must have a rough idea, though. A nucleus like. Well, taking shape, taking shape. You got any socks need darning? Yeah. Matter of fact, I have. Look at that. <laughs> thought I played quite well today. Did you? Well, I thought so. It's good in the air. Scored one. Well, it was earth shot, really, wasn't it? I mean, just hit your ear as it went in, didn't it, really? No, 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 that was a cunning deflection. I oh, wanted them, would it? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> so, uh, how do you rate my chances then, Fletch? Chances of what? Making the team. Slim. Darn your own naffing socks. For arm robbery, try and steal a ball once in a while. You're in the spirit of things, Fletcher. Oh, off new, Mr. Treadaway. How do you rate our chances? Well, difficult to tell, ain't it, sir? We don't know what we're up against yet, do we? Have you heard any more about who's coming up here? They seem rather vague at the moment, don't they, Mr. Mackay? There is some talk of David Diddy Hamilton, sir. And possibly one of the goodies. Oh, that'll be a novelty, won't it? Up here amongst all these baddies. Is that all, Mr. Mackay? No, sir, but these people have commitments, you know. It's very hard to pin them down to the last minute. Your head's going down, Gobba! Come on, pull it back! 
We've had a letter from Michael Parkinson, sir. Oh, is he coming? No, sir, but he wrote to say that he would have come. But he isn't. Oh. But we have the letter on file, sir. Didn't you mention that comedian chap? What's his name? Jimmy Tarbrush? Buck, sir. Yes, Buck Tarbrush. Uh, well, uh, unhappily, he's indisposed, sir. Oh, dear. Buck Tarbrush. Oh. We should be lucky to get Basil Brush. Mother Superior. This will be the visitors changing room, sir. Our lot will change next door. We're not painting that as well, are we? Certainly not, sir. Good. And what about valuables, Mr. McGuff? They'll leave them in the coat, sir. Very wise. Who are these fellows? Whitaker, sir, and Folly. I picked them because they have an autistic bent, sir. Well, we're bent. Hmm, I know. Carry on. Get that eye shadow off, Whittaker. After the game, sir, I thought we'd have a little reception for them in the prison officers' club here, sir. Oh, I don't think so. It's such an inhospitable place. Oh, but, sir, sir, you haven't been there since we brightened it up. Huh? I acquired some horse brushes, and Emma's wife has donated a stag's head. I still think they'd be much more comfortable in the plough and sale. Simkin in goal, were well, lesser of two evils, you know. Uh, Tommy Armstrong, Steve Callahan, McLaren, Nifty Small, Mini Cooper, Young Raj, of course, and <laughs> Wellings, and Macmillan, uh, Doug Haywood, Urquhart, and Lenny Gobba. Uh, subs, we got Bonnie Warren, Adams, and Jacko, in case it gets ugly. Sounds a fairly well balanced side. Yeah, I think so. We've gone for a blend of youth, experience, flair, and brutality. Only thing was. I didn't hear Oaksy's name in there. Oh, no, I think Oaksy will be the first to admit that he's not a footballer. Yes, I am. Uh, well, footballer, yes, maybe, but, I mean, what I mean to say is you are not as fit as some of the younger lads, are you? Yes, I am. Uh, well, uh, put it another way, I mean, I was basing it on the fact that he cannot tackle, pass, trap or dribble. He throws in well, mind. He's playing. No, he's not. Yes, I am. Is he? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, I've got your name down here all the time, Oaksy. Look, <laughs> it's just I've spelled it Macmillan. Come on, Fletcher. The late. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I just want you to know I've had it for you. You what? You've really got up my goat these last two weeks, you have. Wrong, Gobba. I get your goat. I don't get up your goat. I'll get up your nose. Or on your wick. Well, just lately, you've done all three. Ah. You never miss an edge, you don't. Running round like a tin pot Napoleon, drunk with power. I've degraded myself for you, I have. Giving you a Kit Kat, darning your socks just to make your naffing team. We've been sellers for a long time now. Doesn't that count for something? Listen, if you made the team automatic, tongues would wag, wouldn't they? Favouritism. That's why you've got to prove yourself more than the next man. I have. I did. I didn't mind doing more laps than anyone else, more press-ups than anyone else, knocking me pan out. But I will not stay behind and lace up everyone else's boots. You're in the team. And everybody's wetting their knickers around this prison just because we've got some so-called celebrities coming up here. Don't you want to play, then? What? You're in the team. Straight up, centre back. Oh, tough, Fletch. No, 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 you're changeable, ain't you? <laughs> Who else is in? Armstrong, Simkin, Rudge, Oaks. Look, you're in the team, so don't quibble about who else is in the team, all right? Oh, right, right coach. Everything you say, coach. <laughs> hey, uh, who's captain? Why? Well, I just wondered whether I was a contender. 
A Captain Gobber has to possess certain attributes which set him aside from the rest of his team. That is why I've chosen Light-Fingered Larry. Erdgut, what attributes has he got? Half an ounce of snout, which he's now given to me, all right? Oh, well, that's... I must say, that's very disappointing, Mr. Bender. Ah. Yes. Well, uh, you see, the thing is that... Uh, Well, actually, the team would be disappointed. Not many of the chaps in tonight. No, never are. Oh, it's a desperate place, is this? The only reason I'd come here is either this or going home. Well, these people are busy. No, I do understand that, Mr. Bimley. I'm single myself. I was married. Divorced now. Oh, really? Well, look at it this way. It is better to have loved and lost than to spend your whole ruddy life with her. Ah. Same again, Chalky. That was Mr. Bainbridge, their team captain. Bad news, I'm afraid. We've lost David Diddy Hamilton. Oh, dear. We still have the goody, have we? Well, he didn't say we hadn't. Oh. No, it's been a good thing for the prison, by and large. They've talked about little else. And there's been a noticeable dropping off of violence of late. <laughs> well, apart from Banyard's nose. <laughs> yes, I, I think you have to be commended for this idea. Thank, Thank you, Henry. Henry. Welcome to Slade, gentlemen. Our pitch is on the back. Shall we drive on? the netball team, where's the flaming football team? Which one's the goody? I don't recognise any of them. That's all? This is, uh... Come on. <laughs> this is Mr Benbridge, who's organised the Showbiz 11. How do you do? Hello. <laughs> Actually, we're only ten. We were supposed to pick up Tony McCauley at the Mill Hill Roundabout. He's a songwriter. Have you heard of him? No. Oh. Well, uh, he didn't turn up, I'm afraid, which is why we're a bit late. Yes. Well, we'd better get on. As you see, we've no floodlights. Well, not in the right places, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Barraclough, would you see them through? Um, could we borrow one of your chaps? One of your subs, Fletcher? Well, if you like, so, yeah. But what about Mr. Beale, sir? I mean, he's been saying he plays a bit. He's yeah. as keen as mustard is. Yes. Yeah. I'll have a word with him. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <coughs> Forgive me asking, Mr. Mackay, but who the hell are they? I mean, me and the lads was given to understand there will be a sprinkling of celebrities, don't we? Chap with the red hair? Tells the weather and Anglia television. Oh, yeah. And there are a pair of scriptwriters for somebody quite famous. Oh. And Mr. Benbridge himself has just finished a pantomime season at Little Hambra, um, Swansea. Oh, yeah. well, tell the lads. They'll be right, Chuck. Who are they, Fletch? <laughs> a weatherman, eight small parts, and a widow twanky. Now go and get changed, will you? Oh. Um, excuse me. Is there a garage nearby? Um, I've got to top the bus up, you see. The lads won't want to stop on the way back. Half a mile down the road, in the village, Esso Station. 
to stir. Ah, good. I'll, uh, I'll nip down later. Right. The well, better get changed. Autograph planting is not permitted. You all right, Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. All right, then, settle down now. Settle down, pay attention. Now, listen, I know you're all very disappointed because they all turned out to be nobodies, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. But the fact remains that they did come all this way to give us a game, right? So, yeah. let us give them a game. Let's show them, shall we? Yeah. But no rough stuff, all right? We don't need that, do we? Uh, well, then, Mr. Beale. Oh, he's all right. You can kick him to kingdom come. <laughs> no, 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 but be subtle, right? <laughs> oh, never mind. Go on, off you go, then, all of you. Don't forget what I've taught you. And don't forget, whatever happens, don't let them panic you to playing football. <laughs> Any of them. Bench with that pillar goats on the park. All right, you'll get on some, don't fret. Here, have a snort of liniment. Now, gentlemen, let's have a good thing contest. It's not a boxing match, Mr. McCoy. That's what I'm anxious to prevent. <laughs> Call heads. Right then, we'll stay as we are. Uh, cut. Afternoon, Mr. Treadaway. Oh, good afternoon, Fletcher. How's it going? Well, difficult to tell, sir, seeing as we're only ten seconds into the game. Yes, good dog. All right, dog. No, good dog. Good dog. Which of them's the goody? Oh, I don't think he's come, sir, but we have got a weatherman there out on the wing. He says it's going to rain. <laughs> Who will plead Slade? Uh, who is that? That's Armstrong, sir. Class player, you, sir. Oh, yes, he's going out next month. Pity that, if they have another fixture. Yeah, it is a shame, isn't it, sir? He'll be right choked, he will. More games are on the agenda, eh, Mr. Treadaway? Oh, I don't see why not if this one goes without a hitch. Good for morale. What's that noise? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just your dog peeing against my bucket. Don't worry about it. Oh, no Come on, O.C., get a move on. And that came off of him. Oh, sorry, did, did it? Yeah. I never touched it. Yes, sorry, you did. did. I didn't. I think it's a message coming through in semaphore, sir. <laughs> Look, I happen to be extremely honest. Are you saying I'm not? Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Look, sink the Bismarck. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Ives. Oh, uh, I just thought you might like to know, Mr. Grout, it's uh, Slade Prison 1, Showbiz 11 nil. <laughs> really? Yeah, a set piece, free kick on the right, Callahan takes it, Rudge volleys, hits Gobber on the right cheek, bang, straight into the corner of the net, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did ask me to keep you informed, Mr. Grout. Better get off out there, then. I'm going to 
going to book you for that. What's your name, Cooper? Cooper. Cooper. Where's it, Ursa? The ribs. Just here. Oh! Just there. That's him. Just there, Mr. McGuire. Right. 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 Oh. Here. <laughs> Is there somewhere I can take a leak? Try the changing room. Oh, I don't know yet. Oh, go off. I only just sat down. Come on. I hope it's nothing trivial. I might get a game. What's the matter, Oaksy? Cartilage, I think. Oh, trouble, I've had it before. You'll have to get them off, you know. Yeah. I'll help you, Fletch. Come on. Yeah. I'll run it. Yeah. I'll run it. Go on in, Max. Have a light. Come on, get off the bed. I never touched him, you know. I know, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, it's hell. Yeah. Take your slider. Yeah. Go. Oh. I'll best fetch the M.O. to your... No! You're a pain, eh, John? Yeah, I'll be all right. He knows naff all about orthopaedics. I'll just have the early path. Come on, Fletch. The lads need your strategy. All right, son, all right. fingers am I holding up, Godba? Uh, can't fool me, Sarah. Five. The lads can cuss. Get him off, Fletcher. Oh, dear. Someone go down to the plough and sail and get the ammo, will I'll you? I'll go. No, oh, God, don't be dark. Come on. Right, let's get on. Corner. Let's go kick. Any more of that, I can I'll have you for dissension. <whistles> Not too tight. No, it's all right. <laughs> hey, hey, don't forget the specs. <whistles> Party of all, Jack, and get on a pitch. What? You're substituted, John. Let one go on. Listen, I want your strength up front. Go on. Connor! Yeah, all right, all right, then. Get in here, come on. Come on. Hey, I'll sit down there, come on. I'll get some water, baby, face. No, you won't, Fletcher. Oh, my God. Look, we haven't seen nothing, have we, Len? Seen what? It's your caper, son. I don't want nothing to do with this, right? They saw you come in here, didn't they? You're just going to sit there till half time and pretend you didn't notice him? Notice what? You'll have to take him with you. You what? Well, you've got no choice, have you? Otherwise, I'll be in it and all. Now, listen, Oaksy, I'm not going anywhere, mate. You'll do as you're told, son. Oh, bleed now. In. In. Come on, then. Come on. Sabo, Mr Mackay, come off there, man. Corner. Yeah, yeah, see, he knows stuff he does. He's got amnesia, he has. Come on, get on with it. <laughs> Right, shift. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Right in. You're joking, Lucy. I'm warning you, Fletcher. Get in. Get in. Come on, Slade. Take no prisoners. <laughs> Oh, 
penalty being taken. Go for your left. What's she doing here? That's the more natural married couple, Tory. This town of year. Ah, oh, come on. Hang on a minute. Tell us how you bought a bleeding suitcase. God, this is stupid. Come on, Fletcher. Oh, God. I wasn't told about this. Come on. I wasn't told about this. Shut up. Okay. Don't look at me. Look, Fletcher, woman. Yeah, all right, all right, get in there. Sorry, Mr. Bellacroft. I'm dying for Jimmy Riddle. Well, don't look at me, lads. There's 11 in a team. Only one of us let the ball through his legs, though. Yeah, where's Fletch? Probably knackered. Oh, it's not like Fletch to Mrs. Orange. Jolly good players game. Your chaps were unlucky not to equalise. <laughs> not my chaps. I'm strictly impartial. <laughs> Young Budge was playing rather well. Rod, sir. That's what I said. Any word on the walking wounded in there? Mr Mackay. In just a moment, Henry. <laughs> yes, but you see... I'm but... talking to the Governor, Mr Verrockbop. Yes, but there's something I think you ought to know. Cheer up, Fletch. I've done you a favour, son. We're free and clear. You think they haven't blocked the roads? We're going north. We're going to Scotland. Never figure on that, will they? Eh? Never figure on Dumfries. Dumfries. Queen of the South there, team. Scottish League Division B, as was. Dumfries, nil. Hamilton Academicals, one. Is he all right? He banged his head on the goalpost. At least he's oblivious to this fiasco. Johnston, two, Stenhouse, Muir, nil. Yeah, all right, leave it out, then. Leave it out. What do you mean, fiasco? Sweet as a nut, this is. Listen, Oaksy, you obviously got good reason for doing something this drastic. Me, I've got under a year to go, and the lad even less. You're doing us no favours, Oaksy. I mean, I haven't got the money for plastic surgery and a first-class ticket to Acapulco, right? And I certainly do not relish wintering in Dumfries. Do you know, I'm very upset you feel that way, Flint. Oh, yeah. But I had to bring you, you can see that, can't you? You don't have to bring us no further, do you? Dump us. God knows we're in the middle of nowhere. You know about Dumfries. Look, I don't know nothing, son. It's still them and us, remember? On your way, then. Yeah. See you, Oxy. I hope not. Out. Yeah, I know something. Come on. Yes, yes, I'll wait. Ah, everything's in hand, sir. They won't get far. Uh, police have been informed of four counties, road checks, and all major roads south and east. Uh, the local police are looking for the coach, and I'm, uh, I'm detailing some of our men to help them, sir. And I'm having to ring the Home Office. Oh. Oh, indeed, Mr. Mackay. I shan't forget this football match was your suggestion. Mine, sir. 
Oh, no, sir, no. <laughs> no, no, sir, let us be fair. The idea came from Mr. Beale. Did he? Oh, sorry. Uh, look, I know you've got other things on your mind, but without the coach, how am I going to get my uh, chaps back to London? Uh, hello. Um, uh, Would you oh. mind, sir? <laughs> Tread away, slave. We're both going to need clear heads if we're going to get ourselves out of this mess, you know. Here. Stick some of these in your pockets, go on. What for? Sustenance, son, sustenance. We might be out all night in this, you know. God, he's really dropped us right in the class, he has. Well, our fault. Wasn't well, us went over the wall. I know, but the screws don't know that, do they? I mean, they've had a conflab by now, wouldn't they? Whose idea was this football match? Fletcher's, sir. Oh, yes, really, very nice. And they'll put two and two together and make three. Three? Three years. That's why we can't let them catch us. Can't we go down the village and give ourselves up to the law? We can't do that. They wouldn't let us get a word in edgeways. I mean, some local Bobby's not going to pass up the chance of, of capturing us single-handed, is he? Commendation for him. Another notch on his truncheon, isn't it? What are we going to do? Well, actually, I've got the perfect solution. What? We're going to break back in. Yeah, I know. Come on. We nick a chicken. Don't be silly. It's Wednesday afternoon. Where we get sage and onion stuffing, eh? Use your loaf. in the right way. By the sun. Tell me what's going on. No one else seems to know. We're going to miss our train if we don't leave soon. Oh, I'm sorry, but the police want statements from all of you. You see, this this whole job could all have been worked out in advance. I bet if we brought Michael Parkinson or the goodies, you wouldn't have held them for questioning. Probably not. But of course you didn't, did you? I told you it'd be dodgy. Come on, come on, don't flag. Jab, jab. The big one next week, sir. Who was 
that? A couple of escaped convicts. Oh. Oh, Fletch, leave the bell alone. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Old habits die hard. <coughs> Might as well give them this back and all. You just won't admit it. We're lost. It's gonna be dark soon. Gonna have to sleep rough. It's gonna be a frost in the night. It's all right for some of us. Some of us have got long trousers. What is it? I heard something. Thank you, Iowatha. Iowatha didn't wear football boots, did she? He. Shut up. What is it? Cops. Cops? You mean like a wooded glade? Yeah. Wooded glade crawling with bleeding cops. Prison. Any development, Sergeant? Nothing. We'll be long gone by now. Did you check the ground for tire tracks? Or the getaway vehicle? Do you know, we never thought of that. Oh, I didn't mean to imply it. Yes, well, if you did your job as well as us, they wouldn't be out now, would they? This is not an everyday occurrence, you know. You'd expect one odd con to tunnel out or go over the wall on a rope ladder, but three of them driving out in a bus. Well, I'll be through here. What about the coach? It's all yours. We're finished with it. Mr. Collinson, you get back to the prison. I will drive the coach with Mr. Miller. Are you sure you can drive this thing, sir? This? No bother at all. All right, come on. Clutch! I'll right, come straight back as you are. That's it, come on. I'll keep coming, Mr. Mackay. Come on, straight back. Come on, a bit more. All right, you're clear there. Yes, it's me, laddie. And if you'd have been half a week earlier, this would never have happened. Yes, sir. It's cold. If they're out in the open, it'll freeze the brass monkeys off. I hope so, Mr. Miller. I hope so. It's just like the wooden horse. and the Trojans. That's how the Greeks got into Troy. Would you mind saving the history lesson till we get back into our flowery dell? How are you going to manage that? Have I ever let you down? No. Well, I might now. Free! 
days. Freezing already. What's this? Yeah. Come on, give that. circumstances, I thought nobody would be here. Yes, well, in the circumstances, I need a drink more than most evenings. What'll it be, Mr. Berkoff? Oh, something to keep out the cold. Yeah, it's bitter, that. It's bitter in. Make those two large ones, will you? You know, I'm surprised at Fletcher and Godwin going over. Surprised and disappointed. You will never learn, will you, Mr. Berkoff? You can't judge these people by our standards of decency and behaviour. Now, the dregs of society. Hello. Oh, sorry. What was that? Shh, shh, shh. It's coming from the studio. Yeah. Hello. It's locked. Of course it's locked. That's where I keep all the booze. Give me the keys, man. Hello. Oh, thank God, Mr. McCoy. Saved at last. Where are we? Who is it? Don't worry, Lynn. Our ordeal is over. <laughs> You're saying that Oakes forced you down the delivery hatch? At gunpoint, sir. Well, he had to do something, you see, otherwise we would have blown the whistle on him, sir. You see, we would have gone and seen Mr. McCoy, who happened to have the whistle at the time. <laughs> it's no laughing matter, Fletcher. The man's been drinking, sir. Well, I had to say, it was only medicinal, sir. It was perishing down there. The audacity of it. Prisoners in the prison officer's club. That was a very shrewd move on Oakes's part, sir. I don't follow you. He knew it was the one place where you never find a prison officer. <laughs> 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 There'll be one or two red faces in the governor's office this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> King, please. Oh, dear, dear. They put it out on BBC last night. <laughs> Three prisoners escaped from Slade Prison. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, they've got to say, sorry, we only meant one. <laughs> <laughs> Makes them look as if I can't count, doesn't it? <laughs> Great, Fletcher. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Grouty, sir. There'll be something for you in your Christmas stocking, Fletcher. Oh. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll look forward to that, sir. Carry on. What do you mean by that, Fletch? Oh, it's all right. I, I got them some millet for their lovebirds, you know. Oh, I didn't know Samson and Delilah had millet. The cage bird, you stupid little nook. Oh, dear. I don't know why you can't tell to that man, Grout. I know you don't, Mr. Banyard. That's why your nose looks like it does. Hey, Fletch. What? All right, you are. Am I? Yeah, you use your head. All you got in here, and it's something. I'm learning that. Good. OK, now here's today's lucky horoscope for Taurus the Bull. Romantic inclinations may pull you in one direction, but cool common sense will be urging you to follow another course. Everybody's been asking me today what really happened. Oh, yeah. You'd be amazed at some of the theories people have come out with. So you're all right. All adds fuel to the Fletcher legend. What's the matter with you? Well, we're still in this cell, aren't we, while Oakes is Hardy Kruger. Hardy Kruger? The one that got away. Film. Starring Hardy Kruger. <laughs> well, I shouldn't worry about it. Before too long, he's going to be Googie Withers again. Googie Withers? We're in these walls. Maybe not. Maybe he got abroad. He'll hate it. They always do. I mean, you can't sit in the sun for the rest of your life, can you? Before too long, he'll get uh, homesick about Halifax or wherever he lives. He'll miss kippers or custard. Wildcat strikes. Maybe. Look, Len, why don't you bide your time, eh? 
I mean, you soon be off out of here, won't you? Free and clear. And you won't be looking over your shoulder all the time. You won't be listening out for every creak on the stair, will you? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Fletch. I just wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> Fletch hair must have gone to me head. <laughs> Stum. Eating, Mr. Mackay. I won't buy it, Fletcher. Oh, that's just as well, sir, because it ain't for sale. <laughs> you know to what I am referring. The governor may believe your story, but the governor does not walk these floors. I was in the village today. Some peculiar reports. Sightings, you might say. Oh, yeah. UFOs, you mean, sir? Oh, yes. Unidentified fleeing objects. A boxer in shorts with his trainer, a sexton's missing bicycle, a farmer sees two thieves running from his apple store. Now, I can't prove you were out, Fletcher. God, but, but mark my words. My day will come. Turning the tide There's a piece of me 